If you're a little skittish around snakes, this is not the story for you. And that's why we want to warn you first. You're about to look at a snake, so if you're skittish, avert your eyes. So this is what a group of hikers found up in a tree right along a trail in Estacada. It's called a rubber boa. Fox News' Kelsey Watts is live tonight after speaking with one of those hikers. Wow, that is scary, Kelsey. Yeah, Liz, I don't think I'd like to encounter it, but hey, don't be fooled by the name. The rubber boa is very real, and you might be surprised to hear it's actually native to Oregon. It's harmless, but as you can imagine, it did come as a little bit of a surprise to the people on the trail. Another couple who were hiking ahead of us had stopped to look at something, and I just stopped to say, you know, what are you looking at? I was looking down at the river because we'd seen some rafters earlier and they said, oh, there's a rubber bow in the tree here. And I look up and there's a snake in the tree right here. That's Karen Meyer. She was out hiking with some friends out along the Clackamas River Trail in Estacada yesterday afternoon. Now, if you're familiar with the area, they were between Fish Camp and Indian Henry and had just passed the Pup Creek Waterfall when they saw it. We checked in with the Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife. Their wildlife biologist confirms that is a rubber boa, a constrictor that eats small mammals like mice. It is not dangerous to humans at all and can be found in a variety of habitats, especially in forest clearings along the Oregon Coast Range. ODFW tells me they're not sure how often they're seen in Clackamas County, but they can certainly be in habitats like that. And ODFW will not be getting involved in any way because, as they put it, it's just a snake doing its thing. I studied wildlife, so I'm into this stuff. I think it's really cool to see different wildlife. Um, other people weren't so sure they like snakes. Now Karen tells me this encounter will not change her hiking habits in the least. She says there are other things in the woods she would be much more concerned to find, like cougars and bears, for instance. But I don't know if it were me. I don't think I'd be sticking around. Reporting live tonight, Kelsey Watts, Fox 12 Oregon. Yeah, I'd be the same, Kelsey. Thank you.